Yeah, a lot of their hands and what we've seen this cycle has been unique in terms of outside spending and in particular, not just in the state primary again, this is state primary, not a general election. It's been very different than what we've seen in the past. One of the newest developments is the spending from outside groups formed by Democrats coming in to try to tip the scales in Republican primaries. We see this spending in the race for U.S. Senate with ads attacking Chuck Morse, linking him to Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, who has become a particularly unpopular figure with the Trump base of the party. The aim of this spending is to boost candidate Don Bolduc, who Democrats see as a more easily defeated opponent for incumbent Ma Senator Maggie Hassan in November. Now, left-leaning groups are also spending to boost Robert Burns in the 2nd Congressional District. That GOP primary features Burns as the most vocal supporter of former President Donald Trump, with George Hansel, the mayor of Keene, in a more establishment Republican lane of the race. Mayor Hansel has said the reason Democrats are spending to prop up Burns is because they are scared of his ability as a more moderate Republican to win over general election voters in the fall. Of course, there is a lot of outside spending going on mm -hmm. from GOP groups as well, and we'll see what impact that had tomorrow. Right, and voters don't always play along with these kinds of schemes, so is there a chance that this could all backfire? You know, it's interesting, Jen, I've heard from a lot of voters, particularly out on the trail today, that they just don't like how negative things have become on the airwaves. And that when a candidate gets a lot of incoming attacks, that's a sign to them that maybe they should take a second look and see what all the fuss is about. But a lot of other voters don't put that level of thought into it. And for them, these negative ads could really have the intended effect. Okay, Adam, thank you.